Assalamu alaikum dear students all of you know about in the previous class we have discussed intake of carbon dioxide and water by plant and today our topic is the role of chlorophyll and light in photosynthesis okay coming toward that what is chlorophyll so actually uh, a complex organic molecule present in chloroplast which absorb blue and red light and <clears throat> convert it into chemical energy for the formation of of carbohydrate or simply we can say glucose okay carbohydrates Carbohydrates is also called a hydrated carbon. Hydrated carbon. The organic molecule here. Actually, the green portion of the light is mainly reflected because it only absorbs blue and red light, and the green portion are the green light up. Sun is mainly reflected. That's why the color of the chlorophyll appear green. Okay, uh, in higher plants uh, and in photosynthetic organism, uh, the chlorophyll is present inside the chloroplast. While in photosynthetic bacteria, uh, the chlorophyll is present in their cell membrane. This is a typical structure of the chloroplast. All of you know about that there are three types of plastid. Actually, what is plastid? Plastid. Actually, it is a cytoplasmic organelle which absorbs sunlight, give color to plant, is known as plastid. It is present only in autotrophic organism. There are three types of plastid. One is known as chloroplast. Second one is chromoplast. While well, third one is lycoplast. Ecoplast. Okay, type of plastid, a cytoplasmic organelle here, plastid, which absorbs sunlight and give green color to plants and prepare the food for the plant is known as chloroplast. Simply we can say cytoplasmic organelle are types of plastid which absorb light, sunlight, and give color to plant color to plant and prepare food this is a typical structure of the chloroplast a chromoplast the type of plastic which give different color to the flower or simply we can say which give bright color to the flower which attract insect for what for pollination All of you know about the pollination that the mixing up male and female uh, sex organisms known as pollination or simply we can see the mixing of pollens of male and female flowers. Okay, what is leucoplast? It is present in underground stem. Underground stem. And store what? Food. Okay. Okay, coming toward the structure of the chloroplast, uh, which gives sunlight, which absorbs sunlight and gives green color to the plant. So actually it consists of two membranes. One is known as outer membrane. Outer membrane. 
this one is inner membrane okay inside uh, the stroma okay what is stroma the liquid or granular part of the plastid is known as stroma okay uh, inside the stroma uh, kinds like structure are present which are in under top of each other that is known as granum this is known as granum while one kind like structure is known as thylakoid thylakoid When the thylakoid are arranged on the top of each other, it makes this like structure which is known as granum, uh, all are combinedly called grana. And the connection between the two grana is known as intergrana. Intergrana. Also known as lamella. Okay. When the CO2 is diffused from the environment, to the stomata and goes in the mesophyll cell so actually inside the mesophyll cell chloroplast is present inside its stroma is present co2 is combined with the uh, water portion of the stroma and palm what carbohydrates okay coming toward the protosystem what is protosystem protosystem stop <coughs> Okay, inside the membrane of thylakoid, photosynthetic pigment are present in the palm of cluster. That is known as what photosystem. There are two types of photosystem. Photosystem 2 and photosystem 1. Photosystem 2 and photosystem one. Actually, the proto system two was discovered first. That's why here we write proto system two first. We tested up proto system one. So actually, uh, protosynthetic pigment are present in the form of cluster inside the thylakoid membrane. That is known as a proto system two. When the sunlight uh, falls on the proto system two, so its electrons are excited. That energy released from excited electron what? are used to pump ATP means energy release from the excitation of electron are used to pump ATP and all of you know about that it is the energy currency of the cells. There are two types of photosynthetic pigment uh, one is known as necessary pigment while other is known as accessory pigment necessary pigment okay chlorophyll a actually a necessary pigment hey chlorophyll a a necessary pigment hey while the chlorophyll b chlorophyll b and carotenoid They are called accessory pigment. Okay, some light ray or simply we can say uh, some photon are easily absorbed by necessary pigment, but uh, the light which are not absorbed by necessary pigment are easily absorbed by accessory pigment, and the light which are not absorbed by accessory pigment are easily absorbed by the necessary pigment. Okay, this was all about the role of chlorophyll and light and photosynthesis inshallah in the next class we will discuss mechanism of photosynthesis in detail okay thank you